Good day. Yesterday we spoke about uh, the discriminant of a quadratic equation and its use in determining whether an equation has real or imaginary roots. So today we are going to do some examples to illustrate the previous discussion or the, uh, the previous lecture. So now I'll uh, write this down. <coughs> Example one, two. Show that the following. Equations ah. real roots determine the real roots. x squared plus x plus 5 equals 0. B. x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. C. 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals 0 and d 4x squared minus 10x plus 3 equals 0 let me give you a way to copy some notes ok now solutions Given a given two x squared plus x plus five equals zero. Clearly, a equals two, b equals one. And C equals 5. Recall. B squared minus 4 is equals delta. Where? Delta is the discriminant. of the equation of the equation substituting for A, B and C Delta, we have Delta equals one squared minus four into two into five, which is equal to one minus. 40 by 
Delta equals minus 39. Clearly, b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, which implies the equation as complex roots <coughs> take down this please excuse me for the cough now let's do example uh, B, example 1.2B. I will erase this and record you guys have taken down notes. You've taken it down, so we don't need to skip. We need to move ahead. B, given. x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Clearly, a equals 1. B equals minus 4 and C equals 4. If we recall the discriminant, delta equals B squared minus 4 is and if we substitute substituting A, B, and C in delta we have delta equals minus 4 all squared minus 4 into 1 times 4 this gives us 16 minus 16, which is equal to 0. Clearly, b squared minus 4ac equals 0. Implying equation has repeated. real roots and we can go further to determining the roots in this case we're going to do it by uh, factorization method so we, we recall we'll bring down the equation x squared x squared minus 4x plus 4, z, 4 equals 0. Now we look for factors of minus 4. Which when multiply will give us, we look for factors of 4. Which when added will give us minus 4. In this case we have minus 2 and minus 2. So this equation becomes x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 equals 0, which implies 
x minus x into x minus 2 minus 2 into x minus 2 equals 0. So we will erase this portion and continue with problem solution to problem B. We'll see that factorizing gives us x minus 2 into x minus 2 equals 0, which implies x minus 2 all squared equals 0. Imply x1 equals x2 equals 2. And the solution is complete. get this down. Now let's go to question C. Question C, given nine x squared plus six x plus one equals zero. Clearly, a equals nine. B equals 6 and C equals uh, 1. Recall delta equals B squared minus 4 is and substituting. Four. A, B, and C in delta. We have delta equals. Six squared minus four into nine into one, which implies delta equals uh, thirty six minus thirty six, which is equal to zero. Clearly. Clearly, b squared minus 4ac equals 0, implying the equation has repeated. real roots now solving for the real roots we'll bring this equation this way 9x squared 
of 6x plus 1 equals 0. Hint. Look for the factors of the product A times C which when added will give us B take note of this in the above equation A times C equals 9 times 1, which is equal to 9. And the factors of 9 9 which when added Give us six A uh, three and three, and the above equation becomes nine x squared plus three x plus three x plus one equals zero which implies 3x into 3x plus 1 plus 1 into 3x plus 1 equals 0 which gives us 3x plus 1 into 3x plus 1 equals 0 which gives us 3x plus 1 all squared equals 0 implying that x1 equals x2 equals minus 1 over 3 and the solution is complete take this down down now And the solution is complete. Who has unseen here? Is there any magic on the board? Everything is clear. You just need to be attentive and uh, to concentrate, work harder. The secret in math is practice. I'm sure you got this. Now let's go to uh, question D. Question D, given four x squared minus ten x plus three 
equal zero. Clearly, A equals four, B equals minus ten, and C equals three. We call delta equals b squared minus 4 is and substituting for a b and c in delta we have delta equals minus 10 all squared minus 4 into a into minus 4 into 4 into 3 which implies <coughs> delta equals 100 minus 48 equals 52 clearly B squared minus 4AC is greater than 0, implying the equation has two distinct real roots. Now let's evaluate the real roots. We we'll recall x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And substituting figures into the, this equation. Substituted for A, B, and C in the formula. We have minus minus ten is ten. Ten plus or minus the square root of minus ten all squared minus four into four into three all over two into four, which tells us that x equals ten plus or minus the square root of fifty two over 8, which is equal to 10 plus or minus 2 to the square root of 13 over 8. x1 equals
plus root 13 all over 4 and x2 equals 5 minus root 13 all over 4 and the solution is complete. Take down those uh, few lines. I hope you've done copying this. Now let's let me give you guys some homework. Tomorrow when I come back I'll uh, give you the solutions to all the, the homework problems. Exercise one point two. Show question one. Show that the following. Equations of real roots and determine the real roots. The real roots. Determine the real roots. A. X squared plus 2x plus 3 equals 0. D. X squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. C. X squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. D. X squared minus 5x plus 16 equals 0. B. X squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0. F. 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0. One more question two. Given the 
quadratic equation. R x squared minus 2R plus 4 into x plus 6 equals 0. Find the value of R where R is real. For which the above equation has repeated real roots Find the roots of the quadratic equation. using the value of R of R determined Question 3. Given Two x squared plus r minus five x plus eight into r squared plus four r minus three equals zero. the value of R where R is a real number for which
priez à bord. Priez à bord. Equation. Pass. Repeated. Real roots. Five. The roots of the quadratic equation using your value of R. So that's all we have for today. Get that down and try doing the, the, the assignment. Tomorrow I'll come back and give you the solutions. Please try to use your head before, before you copy the solutions I need you. Try doing the assignments. That will make you know where you make errors. Or where you, you went wrong. Okay. Bye for the day.